All right, hello YouTube. Today we have a Cruiser Striker. Model is the ST2313. This is a Cruiser Striker travel trailer with a front living. And it has a toy hauler in the back. We'll take a quick walk around the outside here. You have the power tongue jack in the front. That always helps out quite a bit with not having to manually roll up that jack, of course. You have your battery behind that and your propane. Tanks right up front here. I think that's a little LED light strip there. Actually, you have them all. One, two, and three right there. <clears throat> this does, let's see if this is open for us, come with a 4,000 Onan generator. It's always nice to have a generator and a fifth wheel and a travel trailer. Often, more often than not, you don't have one in there, but especially in, you know, a toy hauler, having one is uh, always handy if you are going off the grid or what have you. You have your toys, you have things that you need to plug in and all that kind of good stuff. This is a 2021, so it is, you know, very new. Uh, it is pre-owned, it is used. Um, they do have 2022 models out currently. You got your ladder on the side as opposed to the back, of course, again, because this is a toy hauler. You wouldn't want to have it on the back gate there. All right, and let's head inside and see what we have. So here's your back toy hauler area. A lot of people sometimes will use a toy hauler area as extra sleeping uh, for guests if you're actually not hauling toys um, because this room does cut off. It doesn't head right into the other bedroom or the bathroom. But you do have your back kitchen back here. <clears throat> so if you're cooking breakfast in the morning, you do have somebody back here. Uh, they're going to have to wake up. But you have a separate room. Obviously, this is made for toys. This will probably fit a uh, quad and motorcycle in here or a few motorcycles. Dirt bikes. Definitely a more moderate <clears throat> look to this toy hauler you have kind of your grays and your whites really nice striker plaque there on the back oven smells new looks new in here was only used a few times you have your top bed back there and your uh, kind of dinette that drops down as well You do have a table here, just kind of coasting back here, and you have a TV up at the top. You have large speakers in here, large radio system, of course AC, all your controls here. This does not have a slide out. Some people prefer slides, some people don't. This doesn't have one. Um, it's not extremely large. I think this is oh gosh like 25 feet or so I could be wrong about that one but it's not very large big microwave nice oven you do have propane burners on the top as opposed to even though this is newer electric really nice sink there I think it kind of goes with the more moderate um, look that this RV has. All right, and then you have your bathroom here. You have two doors, one that um, is 
great when you walk into the entrance so say if you're camping somebody comes in they can literally just walk straight into the door into the bathroom and the bathroom goes right into the bedroom again you have the same kind of uh, moderation going throughout the wallpaper in here the all that kind of uh, darker or gray wood you they actually did manage uh, in this to um, fit a king-size bed in here and it looks huge in here um, it may not give you a whole lot of room to get around and get in the bed but um, some people would say I don't uh, care so much about that I'd rather have a bigger mattress, a king size bed. Uh, well, it's got it. Um, some people say, "Well, I, you know, I can't get around the bed, and it's more of a struggle. I'd rather have a queen." So, this definitely has a big bed in it, though, and it looks a lot bigger in here. Some top cabinets. You have kind of a, <clears throat> I believe, hanging racks in there on either side, closet. your sink again you kind of have that black or kind of more moderate uh, faucet there all right guys well thank you for watching as always if you have any questions please leave your questions in the comment section I'll also leave an email link in the description so if you have questions specifically <clears throat> about this as well you can email it to me or you can just uh, leave a comment thanks for watching